I'm Jan Mardenborough. I race for Nissan. I'm about to drive a GTR with a PlayStation controller inside a helicopter. It was really weird. I just woke up one day, went on my PlayStation, and uh, there was like a new menu, GT Academy. And um, I entered it at least five hours a day, just going round and round and round in this, in this 370Z around this Mickey Mouse fancy track. And I, was, I think I finished 11th in UK and Ireland. Went to Silverstone. Did um, lots of different challenges in GTRs, 370s, and I qualified first for this race. It was a 20-minute race around Silverstone, and the winner would be the winner of GT Academy. And then there was champagne sprayed in my face for like, the next couple of seconds. I was like, oh, sweet, I won. The helicopter bit scares me. It's so good. It's so random and wacky and uh, but it works. It's like it's it's like controlling your remote control car but from a helicopter. Got up to 121 miles an hour down the Wellington Strait. So it's a standard PS4 controller. So R1, R2, R throttle, L2, brake, and it's, you can control you know, the rate. Um, and then the, 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 the thumbstick for turning. On the game, the thumbstick, the way that it's mapped, it it's makes it easier. So your, your inputs are a lot, much, a lot more smoother. Whereas now, um, any slight input, you can see the car sort of like twitch. So you have to be so smooth and so dexterous with your thumb. The brake, it's hard. It's difficult knowing uh, how hard you're braking. There is modulation, but you can't see the car so much slowing down. So I have a speed reading of the car, of what speed it's doing, and I'm using braking points, which I know from racing at Silverstone. Um, and they're kind of working at the moment and kind of like, edging up to it. And then the throttle is quite linear. We've got the car in R mode, so it leaves it quite high in the revs each gear. So you can see the car accelerate. Braking is, is the hardest point, point though. And the steering, um, some of the corners now, I'm at a point where I can just leave the steering full lock because the steering only turns 90 degrees. That's all it's mapped for. Um, so some of the corners I can just leave it left or, or right and then sort of play with the throttle, keep it on the throttle so I don't need to faff around with my thumb. Yeah, it's so weird. So into, into Brooklands, it's like a left and a right after a long straight. So the guy on the chopper is trying to like keep up with the car. The car accelerates so fast. So uh, when he comes into this left bit, he sort of cuts the corner a little bit. So he like overtakes, almost overtakes the car and the car's like here and there's, there's a bit of glass, but it's mainly floor. So I'm trying to like, oh, I need to, I can't see the car. So I'm trying to like make sure my actions aren't too obvious. Yeah, I reckon it could be a sport. Right, it might be difficult with each helicopter in the sky, like seven or eight, but um, controlling a car from, I don't know, a point, a real life car, oh, it'd be so much fun. I might be out of a job in a few years. I'm in the Nissan GTRC, and as you can see, I've got a PlayStation controller here. I mean, I don't do much with video games, but I know left and right and accelerator, so I'm going to demonstrate. So here we go. We've got left and right here, so if you Watch me do, I'm going to do a right turn and it moves the steering wheel all the way to the right and then it goes to dead center all the way to left and you can do little inputs as well. So I'm going to move it slightly to the right. There we go. That's pretty cool. Brake is this button here, L2. As you can see, it moves that. How cool is that? I think it's all hydraulically actuated and the, uh, the accelerator, I think that's the coolest part of this. So here we go. Gonna give it a few blips. <laughs> so that is pretty cool. And this is exactly what Jan was using from the helicopter. The gearbox also works. You can change from reverse to automatic. You can't change gear manually because obviously Jan has got enough things to worry about, let alone changing gear. So if you press on the up button, it will knock it into automatic like that. That's pretty cool. And then down you go into reverse. So obviously Jan was had it just in auto and then he was 
braking, accelerating and steering just like that. Pretty cool stuff. So this is James, pleasure to meet you. Hello, pleased to meet you. And uh, you're the man, well, half of the team yeah. who created this Nissan GTRC remote control car, yeah, obviously. Yeah, absolutely. So um, obviously we've got loads of stuff going on on the inside. We've got electric motors, we've got pneumatic controller that does the gearbox. Briefly, in layman's terms, talk me through what we've got here. Very briefly. So as you said, we're using a, a PlayStation controller. So the first thing we need to do is collect those signals from the controller. So they come in via the radio waves, so we have the aerials on the roof of the car there. So they're taking the signals from the driver, and we then need to turn those into vehicle actions, if you like, or vehicle motions that he wants uh, the car to do, okay? So they get, those signals get fed into the computers in the back of the car. So basically, in here we have a rack of uh, computers. That computer doesn't stay in there, by the way. So these then take those signals, and they then move the actuators that are in the car in order to affect the motion. So as you can imagine, I'm sure, you want to steer it around a racetrack, you want to go as fast as you can, so you use the throttle and you want to stop at the corner. So that's effectively the motions that we've got in the car. Uh, and so then the, the sort of back panel in there, so that's all the energy source, if you like. So as you say, we're using compressed air and we're using electric motors in order to uh, control the various elements of the car. Now, one thing is that as well as the primary control, we have a secondary control system, a supervisory control system that's looking after the car. So it's checking everything is okay. It's checking that the comms are all good and it's also linked into our uh, affectionately called kill system, which basically disables the car. So if we have a, uh, an issue that we want to stop the car very quickly, then we can do that uh, entirely independently of what the driver's doing. I mean, power module, kill system, we've got compressed air there. How long did all of this stuff take to plumb in took, to the car? Took about six weeks to make this system uh, for this particular car, uh, and then do all the tuning and such like. So it's about, so it's, not an inconsiderable amount of effort. And I imagine that you've probably never done anything like this to a car as quick as this. We have not. No, 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 this is, uh, this is ticked a number of firsts. First uh, full-size remote control car around Silverson, I believe. Amazing. Uh, first one from a helicopter, uh, first G GTR, first, yeah, lots of them. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, it's been, it's been a magnificent project. One final question. What is the kind of range? Obviously you're in a helicopter, so is Jan. Yeah. How far can this car get away from you guys? Because I know it was, Kind of pulling away on uh, our, the our, our range is in the orders of kilometres. Really? Yeah. Wow. But of course, you can't physically drive it from there because you can't see it accurately enough. Yeah. So if you're if you're trying to sight your, well, let's say you're sighting an apex, you've got to be really fairly close to it in yeah. order to get that accurately on a racetrack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you you can't really be at that kind of range. That's amazing. Could you see this becoming a race series? <laughs> well, if it is, I want to be involved. I think, I think, I think you'd be the boss, James. Thank you very much for thank your you. time. You've yeah, made thank an you very awesome much car here, and no it was uh, great to see it Glad being driven it. around from the sky. I did enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah fantastic. Awesome. Thanks very fantastic. much. Fantastic, very Cheers. good. All right. I'm Michelle Westby. I drive a Nissan 200SX 14A. I'm a project manager, promotional model, and drift racing driver. All the girls are playing with their Barbie dolls. I'll be there with the Hot Wheels, wanting to scare electrics. It was just a natural thing that I just enjoyed and had a passion for straight away. 